Hi, it's me, your lovely girl, your sister, your kitty patootie, Sharon freaking Roseblood. You wanted to know what the effects of HR freaking TR. For those not in the know, that stands for Hormone Replacement Therapy. Because in most cases, you block out one kind of hormone and subsidize it with another type of hormone. So if your body naturally has testosterone, you block that and you get estrogen. And if your body naturally has estrogen, you block that one out and you take testosterone. It's important to know that both of these treatments are not only for trans people, right? Many people... I don't know how many, but there are many people that are cisgendered as well that for many types of medical reasons have not enough hormones inside their own body. So they can either take more of them. Sometimes they have to take some blockers because they have too many of them. There are many cases we won't get into them. For myself, I can tell you I had to take growth hormones as a child and I very much suspect that I always had a low amount of testosterone, which was probably because of my lack of growth hormones, which is why I never really had, like, my voice drop. This is why I have the cutie patootie voice as you know. Anyhow, let's get into it. Ladies first, so we shall go with estrogen effects first and then testosterone effects second. You can skip the video if you only want to know about one of them. Here we go. So number one for... Estrogen, yum, yum, yum. the girl pills, the girly pills, the cutie, the gummies, the fem, the feminine. <laughs> yes, dude, many people call them feminines and I love it. So all of these informations was from a medical website. I will leave the link down below for both estrogen and testosterone. Let's start. So of course, the very most important thing for many people, not all, but many, myself included, on estrogen after a while, <coughs> you get boobies, they start to grow, and they grow, and they grow, and did you, fun fact, did you know that every single being, human being, has a, like, genetically a booby size? It doesn't matter what your assigned gender at birth was, it doesn't matter who you are, every single person has, like, an assigned cup size, but some people have the hormones so they can grow, others do not. That means even if you did not get born with estrogen, once you take it, your boobies will grow to the size they were programmed to be. So if you have people with boobies in your family, it's very likely you will end up a similar size. Yeah! Then your skin gets drier and thinner, yeah, that also has to do together with your face. It will get, like, less oily. Mm -hmm. It can make you more emotional. And I'm going to be honest, I would like that because I so many, many times I feel, like, so emotionally absent. I'm, like, I many a times I have, like, a fuck everything uh, <laughs> mindset. And I don't like that very much. I would like to care more, but it's very hard. It also makes it easier to cry. I have to tell you. It sadly is very hard for me to cry currently. I There were sad situations in my life where I wanted to cry, but I couldn't. Like, the only times it seems I'm really able to cry is when I, like, watch a sad anime, which is, like, weird to explain. Somehow I can feel sad and cry for, like, these fictional characters. Yeah. Then your hair, your facial hair and stuff, thins out. No, no, thinning is not the correct word. Like, it gets thinner, right? So... It's not as hard anymore. It feels nicer. It feels cutie patootie -er. Some people that take estrogen cannot get children anymore after. So if you do want some, there are methods where you could like freeze some like sperm thingies. I don't know what the exact thing is. Like I'm not interested in that. I know people do that. So do know that if you want to have your own biological children... Probably do that before you start estrogen, you know, you know, just to be safe. Then there is a redistribution of fat, which means you get a more quote-unquote female form. That means you will get like more fat on your hips and stuff. And you will have go get like closer to the hourglass shape, right? You will get like fat to your boobies and everything like that. 
Then, most importantly of all, you will become a cutie bird titty, and there is no way around it, okay? There will also be a sudden urge to buy a blahash, and no, they may not be called blowhai, for I have called them blahash. And we all know this is the most important fact after all. Monster energy runs in your veins now. You just can't change that, you know? But what will get changed is how your organs feel. Yes, you know what I mean. Your organs will feel different. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> your smell will change. And actually, that one is one of the very first things that happens. And I've read it from, like, so, 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 so many people that they notice it about themselves as well. That's, like, one of the first things. Because apparently, and I didn't know that beforehand, that, like, smell and stuff has to do with your hormones as well. That's so weird, you know? Sometimes, some people notice a slight change in colors of their eyes, you know? then the height and shoe size can become lower as well. That is basically because of like some muscles thinning out and some fat getting redistributed. Don't worry, your bones are not like disappearing and <laughs> shrinking. That's, that, that's not how it works, okay? And then there is a reduced libido in the most cases, okay? And honestly, I uh, that would be very nice. You know, because sometimes it's very annoying. Okay, going on to the dudes. Uh, to testosterone. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Do you have a cute little name for testosterone? Sorry, a manly name for testosterone as well? Is it the tea package? The tea, 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 tea you become testosterone like a T-Rex or something? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I had not researched what testosterone does and does not do beforehand because I obviously was never interested in getting more testosterone so I did research for this video so that is all secondhand knowledge here basically so apparently your beard hair will start to grow basically you gain the ability to grow like beards full ass freaking beards that's kind of cool you know if you want a beard that's cool I like dudes with beards you know and then your hair grows thicker and sometimes darker. Like, isn't that weird how hormones have to do with your, like, eye color and then, like, your hair color to a degree as well? That's very weird, actually. Then your voice gets deeper. The website did say that not many people have, like, a full-on, quote-unquote, voice drop as cis people would have during their puberty. But then again, not all cis people go through a full-on voice drop. Some more, some less. It depends, right? So if you want to make your voice sound deeper, you might have to do some voice therapy as well. But your voice does actually get affected. Not like on estrogen, where your voice sadly <laughs> does not get affected. And so I don't worry, okay? <laughs> your skin will get thicker and oilier. Have fun with that, you know? Have fun with that. And apparently, I also didn't know that you may develop acne now probably has to do with the thicker and oilier skin, I'm not sure. Then your legs and arms get more muscles and your muscle mass in general increases, which also makes your strength increase. You are gonna be a strong bear! You will protect me, okay? You will protect all of us cutie patooties. Thank you so much. Yeah! Your head hair might thin a bit and sadly male pattern baldness will become a possibility because that is linked to testosterone. So, you know, I'm sorry to inform you, that is now a risk. Well, we can't have everything, sadly. And apparently you will have a stronger libido. Isn't it funny that how that estrogen and testosterone have, like, the opposite, op 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 opposite effects sometimes, you know? Yeah. So that is everything I could find out. And the things I had experiences with and the things I read about. If you have any more changes that do appear on any HRT therapy or just like things you have noticed, feel free to leave them down in the comments and subscribe for more. Next time we're going to talk about names. Yeah, bye-bye.